guess, explain that one so much to so much to play yeah. for, but it seemed a bit listless. Or yeah, it was uh, super disappointing. I mean, we've we've clearly we've let ourselves down. We let you know let our fans and supporters down, and it's it's not acceptable. We uh, we came here as you say with so much to play for, um, and you know not for the first time this year, and especially in the second half, we weren't able to elevate to the level required. So we've got um, we've got some searching to do, you know, in terms of looking at all components of our program. Um, you know, obviously the season is now out, you know, in terms of where we finish is out of our control. Um, we've obviously got one, one game to go and then whatever it presents, but um, clearly tonight is, uh, was nowhere near the level and, you know, that's, that's, that's disappointing, super disappointing. So what's your gut feel? Why though? Well, yeah, I think early on, if we, if we go through the game early on, you know, I thought we, we were playing you know, we had we had sort of some control of the game. We obviously didn't put any scoreboard pressure on. I think we kicked six points, which in the first quarter, which you know didn't allow us to actually get any flow. And then some skill errors, you know, uh, before half time. You know, in particular, our back half just you know, gave them opportunities to score. So, um, but at half time, it was a, a three goal game. And um, you know, in the second half, it was you know just our, our capacity around the ball. We got we got smashed around the ball in the contest and the clearance in the third quarter, which you know, they were able to get field position and score easily off the back of that. And then I think the longer the game went, just our capacity to defend the game was really poor. It was really poor. So you know that's uh, that hasn't been the case all year, but certainly it was tonight. Speaking, Don, though, you know, regardless of whether or not you play finals, you resign to the fact that there's some. Bigger issues that you need to work through. I think some, there's some things we need to we need to have a, you know we need to look at in terms of um, the way we're playing because you know clearly against the better teams and we played a good side tonight we played one of the sides in the grand final last night but against the better teams we haven't been able to elevate consistently to play it at that high level so yeah we we need to we need to have a look at it. So much talk about personnel change potentially at the end of the year. Do you shelve that until the end of the season or do you start? With this management talking, make, having those conversations with some of these guys. Oh, we, we, look, we've still got one game to play, so we'll do that at the end of the season, whenever that may be. As I said, it's out of our control now. Um, you know, we've got to rely on other teams and, and obviously get it done. We've got one more game to play, and whatever beyond that, and we'll, we'll make those decisions in due course. And what were the summation of the two rucks going up against? Well, it was, it was interesting because yeah, it was. Uh, I think at the end of it, you know, Grundy probably got the got the honours. Uh, the numbers would suggest that, um, but we felt it was worth a try. So you know, to everyone out there, you're going, well, what did what, what did we gain out of it? We got to look at it. We got to see what it was. There's some some positives out of the down forward stuff at times, um, but you know, it was something we, we had to go at. Is it too small a sample size to make a decision now on whether you'll stick with it for next? Yeah, week? we'll we'll look at it for next week. Obviously, the Bulldogs will be a different makeup as well, so we'll, we'll assess what that looks like and and decide from there. I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, Sam's, you know, been, I think, he's very keen to stay. So, you know, we, we'd like to have him around. So, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see how that plays out. It goes without saying disappointing for him. Yeah, I was disappointed for everyone, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's disappointing for Sam and Paul, obviously, that, you know, a milestone game, you want to you uh, register a win and you want to enjoy that with your, with your teammates. But, you know, as a group, all of us, you know, and we're all in it together. And the reality is tonight we were just weren't, weren't up to the level and weren't good enough. Um, and as I said, we've, we've got some, some work to do. You look like you sort of turned the corner last week, Don, with a yeah. lot of, uh, you know, short kicking, going forward, pinpoint passes. Do you sort of, not abandon that, but obviously it wasn't used as much tonight. Not, more long kicking getting picked off by the Collingwood defenders. Yeah, well, we, we, early we were, you know, we were probably trying to shift that ball and move it a little bit. Um, to Collingwood's credit, they defended it well. And when we did switch it, we probably didn't get any real capacity to get around them. Um, and then at times when we got forced to kick it long, as you say, they were able to, to zone off and take some, some intercept marks. So, um, you know, that's, that's what they came through up and we weren't able to get any real flow, which, is, again, is something we need to look at. So, you know, whether it be our, our contested ball consistency, whether it be our defence and our capacity to defend the ground or getting, you know, getting some flow in our ball movement, they're the things we've got to keep working on. And we are where we are. Um, so we don't shy away from it. We stick together and we say, what, what can we get better at? And let's, let's work on it. Now, we've got one game to go plus whatever this season, um, but the reality is to compete going forward, we need to improve in those areas. Just no answer for their small forwards tonight. Yeah, well, that was that was based a little bit on how the ball was coming down. To be to be fair to those guys, you know, it was certainly in that third and fourth quarter there was, you know, consistently ball just coming on with speed on it, which is going to make it hard for anyone to defend. To be honest, so um, you know, when they're getting overlap and they're able to you know have those uncontested mark chains and create speed in the ball, um, you'd want to be a real good defender to, to get that done consistently. But you know, again, it was too easy towards the end. We we got to recognise that. Yeah. Did you spend most of the second half down at ground level, or were you sort of? No, like... I was in the box in the second half. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, we made a few changes in the third quarter to try and arrest what was obviously they jumped us early with three goals, and we were trying to change some things from from there. And you know, it's always difficult when you know you're um, the game's flowing against you to try and give that the clarity as well as the, the change of structure that you you hopefully can can stem the flow. But we weren't able to do it consistently. What you do next week in terms of selection and how you approach the game does that yep. depend a lot on the results this weekend? Oh, not necessarily. I mean, we'll go. We'll go to Ballarat with the intent to win a game of footy and finish our year strongly. That's that's all we can now control. So that'll be the, that'll be the approach. Do you entertain the idea of possible farewell games for anyone that may be retiring or anything like that? Oh, if that comes to fruition, I, I don't know at this point. There's no one who's raised a flag that they're planning on retiring, so it's kind of hard to speculate on on whether that'll be the case. You mentioned a lot of areas there that you're going to look at, but yep. I mean, the ball movement looks stagnant. Is it is that product of is that a style that you? I mean, it looks slow and, and sort of sideways a lot. Is that, a, is that what you're asking or is that something that the players are just lacking confidence to take a bit of a risk? And, and yeah, it's, it's, well, it's an interesting one because it's also what the game's presenting, but certainly we're, we're working on how we effectively move the ball. Um, and some of it is confidence, to be honest. You know, you see some of the skill errors tonight, especially, you know, coming out of our back half. Um, but once again, if you invite the game into your back half, it's not an area where you're naturally going to score from. And if you look at the score sources for teams, they're not generally scoring their back half, but they're actually protecting the ball pretty well in their back half. So sometimes it's about speed, and other times it's about just actually owning the ball and protecting the ball. Um, and, you know, we probably haven't got the balance quite right, which is fair to say. I guess the contrast of that is Collingwood seem to get a lot of fluent ball movement right through from their back half straight into their forward. Well, they were able to shift the ball out of their back half and find players, you know, through the half back line and get the ball into the fatter part of the ground more consistently than we could. There's no doubt. What was the circumstances of Chase coming into the side? Yeah, so Riley Knight had just jammed his back and he's glued up a little bit in the um, in the leaders run yesterday. Uh, came in today, tried to warm up and was, could still feel it and felt it was going to be restrictive, so we, we had to make that change. Do you think supporters can see something in him and Darcy's three goals tonight to take something away from the game that they can be... No playing? doubt. I mean, I thought Darcy again tonight competed well ahead of the ball. Um, Chase did some really good things and, you know, they're, they're going to be the future of the footy club. So it's good to get games into those guys and to see them do some things which suggest they're going to be good long-term players. So hopefully that excites the, the fans on what's been a pretty disappointing night. What about Wayne Malira? How do you sort of describe his um, statistical drop-off anyway in the last month? Is he just... Struggling consistency-wise? Yeah, it's a bit of consistency, which is not unusual for, for a younger player. So, um, yeah, and we've probably tried to settle him down a little bit, playing more at half-back, um, you know, whereas previously he was a bit half-forward, a bit on ball. So we've looked at Wayne in a number of areas, and I think we probably need to now say, well, what's going to be Wayne's position going forward and where do we think he can play? Um, and obviously through, you know, with the games to come, but, you know, then obviously into the, into the off-season, get him what we think he's going to be for us, whether that's going to be as a genuine mid or whether it's going to be a half-back. So, um, yeah, we'll keep assessing that. That's up for debate still, is it? Yeah, that's up for, you know, it's a, it's a conversation around what is, what is our, what does the mix look like and what's the blend look like for us going forward. Any injuries tonight, Don? Jack Kelly was a little bit... Yeah, up. Jack Kelly's got a kick in the uh, in the shin, so that sort of pulled up a bit sore and he came back on for a little while in the last quarter, but... Um, uh, clearly, uh, he was, I think we iced him up with about seven or eight minutes to go, so um, we'll wait and see on him. All good. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks,